Good evening, Awkward Knots. It's Tuesday. Last week was so much fun. I had so much fun filming it and watching all of you do your punishments. Kat, I hope to see a punishment of yours. I'm sorry for whatever reason that you couldn't get it up last week. But, um, Alex, I hope you're feeling better. And Lee, makeup looks great on you. You should make it a thing. And Lauren, your serenade was lovely. On to this week's theme. Uh, we're having to recite a poem from an artist from our own country. Here's a poem by a slam poet I saw last semester who came and toured. He tours every so often with other slam poets. His name is Buddy Wakefield. This is his CD that's live at Typer Cannon Grand, and it's amazing. I'll be reading uh, Older People by him. This is not my work, and I do have to warn you, there are a couple of bad words. So, 18 and under people, be warned. Dear, angry, older people, anybody who considers themselves an adult next time you're wondering what's wrong with kids today, you might want to check out the examples you've been giving us to work with. Because if you ever want to make sense of us, you got to make sense to us without telling us you're too old to walk that far. you got to try understanding why we like looking like rag dolls, why we like looking like the way we feel, and why we keep our senses floored when it's you behind the wheel. And if you ever really do want to understand why we seem so angry, well, for one, you told us we could be anything we wanted to be, but right now we're a little busy dodging bombs. Okay, and two, rather than celebrating the gifts you've got, we more often see you blowing fuses over simple mistakes on dinner receipts as if the waitress was purposely ramming you in the ass with dynamite sticks and branding kick-me signs on your faces. It was an accident. you got to calm down. Rethink this approach. Ask yourself, what would Bill Murray do in this situation? I've seen fish hooked who keep more patience in their worst skill than some of you got in your best moods. If you were a sandwich at McDonald's, they'd call you McGrump. You gotta get a grip. Please, it's been another long day playing games in the schoolyard trying to make sense for an old people who won't be satisfied. So I suggest you hush up, turn around, and march those cranky asses straight back to your rooms while me and your sons and daughters try figuring out how to actually use all this forgiveness we found piling up in the laundry you still haven't washed because you've been too busy out prescribing all that hell and giving it away in hand baskets to those who send a cash act fast call them out. Well, this is me without my Prozac. This is me just shy of nicotine and motherfuckers. It's my second time to fail anger management class. So for the love of greatness, please stop moving the hands of my clock to the time you had it made. I'm way too busy working out all the kinks here. You didn't exactly wind this thing back up when you were through, hosing down all the big, bright, violent warning signs we done lit up in, out in gangland and down to the road to Columbine where all these kids you can't seem to make any sense of would stop holding you so far off the edge of your seat you'd start holding yourselves to the promises you make. We know you're not perfect, because we're not. And I know I ain't perfect, but I believe I was meant to be. DFTBA and Alex, I'll see you tomorrow. And Lauren, I love Shel Silverstein and Dr. Seuss. Thanks for reading from Cat in the Hat, or memorizing Cat in the Hat. That's awesome. Thanks.